So way, so way to omnes. Uh, welcome to this video lesson on Fabulae Sirae. Um, looking at Fabulae Sirae goes along with chapter 27 and section 4, the story of Komatas, which means something like long haired, um, but it's the name of the character here in this story. Okay. Um, Komatas. Komatas servus fuit, qui in Graecia habitavat. Comatus was a slave who lived in Greece. Et quotidie capras oesque domini, quae in colobus et campis pascebantur custodiob, custodiebat. Um, and daily um, he guarded, custodiebat, the uh, she-goats and sheep of his master, the capras oesque, um, who were pastured, or were grazing in other words, on the hills and in the fields. Always albi et nigrae, a white and black sheep, in campis herba opertis, in fields covered with grass, curebant, ran about, herbasque carpebant, and they were... Um, we would say of people picking, but we might say here grazing um, on the grasses. Nocte silenti. In the quiet or silent night, luna et plurimae stellae in caelo sereno lucebant. The moon and very many stars were gleaming in the calm or clear sky. Always dormiebant. The sheep were sleeping. Comatas vero non dormiebat, but Comatas was not sleeping. Sit in alto saxo sedens, but he was sitting on a tall rock. Dumoes custodit while he was guarding the sheep. Luna met stelas in Kylo, sine nubus lucentes spectabat. He was watching the moon and the stars. Gleaming in the sky, Lucentes and Kylo, without clouds. Okay, so he's up late at night. Sheep are asleep, but he's watching the moon and the stars. Subito outen. Suddenly, however, no impul keremas puelas with it. He saw nine most beautiful girls. Qua statim intellexit, no wim musas esse whom he immediately understood were the nine muses. Now these are the goddesses of the arts. Deas artium canindi scribindi saltandi, the goddesses of the arts of singing, of writing, of dancing. Quae comata tacinte atque spectante laetai in campis curebant, saltabant, cantabant. Um, who with Kamadas being quiet and watching, that is to say, while he was being quiet and watching, but it's an ablative absolute there, who, happy, Laitai, were running, were dancing, and were singing in the fields. And here we're speaking of the nine muses, who appear as beautiful uh, girls here in the scene. Tande Musai, at last the muses, Ex campis illis amuinis, uh, from those charming fields, ad Olympum, to Mount Olympus, deorum domum, the home of the gods, in alto monte positam, placed or situated on a high mountain, radierunt, returned. Okay, so put it all in English word or at last the muses returned from those charming fields to Olympus, the home of the gods, um, situated on a high mountain. Mane, early in the morning, sole oriente, with the sun rising, comatas parvum haidum captum egrege, in templo super aram musi sacrificat. Um, comatas sacrifices, sacrificat, a small kid, and when we say kid here we mean a, a young goat, K-I-D can mean a child, human, but it can also mean a young goat, and that's what we mean here. 
So he sacrifices a small kid taken from the herd, Coptum a Gregi, in a temple on top of the altar to the muses. All right, and Ara, as you see in the margin, is this word for altar. Eosque orat, and he begs or prays to them, meaning to the muses, ut ilut sacrificium accipiant, that they should accept this, or, or rather that sacrifice, the sacrifice of the kid. Dominus altim gregis, however, the master, the owner of the herd, because remember, Comatus is a slave here. Ex urbe in praedium suum venit. Came from the city into uh, or out to his estate, his his big farm. Praedium is a, a large endowed farm, so maybe a plantation or you could say ranch or something like that. Uh, you just want to get an image of a, a, a very large farm property um, that... No doubt this guy has lots of slaves and uh, maybe tenant farmers to run it for him. All right. Quia voluit a spicere agricolas. Because he wanted to look at the farmers or maybe to inspect the farmers. Et pastore suos and his shepherds. Qui in agris et campis opus faciebant. Who were doing their work, opus in the fields and the the meadows. So an agar is a field that you would till and plant with uh, maybe wheat or barley or whatnot, and a compus is a meadow or field that you would graze animals on. Cum primum, when first, Gregim sum conspects it, he caught sight of his herd, and here we're speaking of the dominus, the master, Always et capras numerare coipit, he began to count the sheep and the she-goats. Posquam vero haidum avesse animadvertit, but after he noticed that a kid was missing, was absent, servo arcesito, o in probe serve inquit, with the slave summoned, or to the slave having been summoned, he says, O wicked slave, Ubi es haidus meus? Where is my kid? Meaning, the young goat. Oficium tuum es curare. It is your job to take care. Ne ulla ovis, ne we ulla capra de sit. That not any sheep nor any she goat be missing. Ego curabo. I will take care. Ne post hoc negligent cease. Ne we dormias. I'll take care that after this you not be negligent and that you not sleep. Comatas vero perteritus ad pedes domini se proiciens. O domine respondit. But Comatas frightened perteritus, throwing himself, proiciens say, at the feet of his master, ad pedes domini, he answered, O master, O domine. O rote, I beg you, I pray you, ne severe me punias, that you should not punish me severely. Nam in ara haidam sacrificavi musis, for I sacrificed the kid on an altar to the muses. Quae in campis tuis laetai saltabant, who were dancing happy in your fields. Dominus altem iratissimus. However, the master, very angry, primum baculo servum verberare volebat, at first wanted to um, whip or perhaps uh, lash the slave with his staff, dein de vero incubiculum duxit. But then he brought him or led him into a bedroom, ubi magnam habebat arcam, where he had a big box. We can see Arca there in the margin. In quam miserum servum inclusit, into which he shut in, he enclosed, the miserable slave. Comatas ibi vix spirare poterat. Comatas there could barely breathe. Neque kibum, neque aquam habebat. And neither did he have food nor water. 
quoniam igitur se moraturum esse sentiebat, therefore, since he uh, sensed or perceived that he would die, he said, inquit, O Musai, oro vos, O Muses, I beg you all, I pray to you all, propter quas talia a domino meo pateor, on account of whom I suffer such things from my master. The point he's making is that the reason he's suffering these problems is because he's sacrificed to them, right? Ut me a morte servetis horienda, that you save me, ut servetis me, from a horrible death, a morte horrenda. All right, Musai ex alto Olympo, the muses from high Olympus, eum orantem adiverunt, heard him praying, et apes ad arcom miserunt, and they sent bees to the box. Quae in cubiculum per parvam rimam ingressai, bees which, quae, uh, having entered in ingressai through a small crack per parvam rimam, in, into the room, in cubiculum, in arcam intraverunt, um, entered in the box, et comatam mele aluerunt, and nourished comatas with their honey. Okay, so they were feeding him. Apes igitur, cotidie, venientes. The bees, therefore, coming daily, mel servo in arca incluso, Perebant, um, brought honey to the slave closed in the box, quo eum a morte servabant, with which they saved him from death. Neque dominus eas, quae tam parve errant, anamadver tebat. Nor did the master, the owner, notice, anamadver tebat, them, eas, who were so small. So the bees were so small he didn't even notice that they were going into the room, much less helping the the um, slave, Kamatas. Tandem dominus, at last the master, putan servum qui tam diu in arca clausus erat, iam mortum esse, eam aperire usit. So he was thanking the slave, putan servum, uh, who had been closed for so long in the box, was already dead, yam mortuum esse, ordered it, usit eam, to be opened, aperire. Okay, what happens? Arca tamen aperta, nevertheless, with the box opened, valde miratus est, he was very much amazed, quod servum non mortuum, sed vivum et bene valentem invenit, because he found, quod invenit, the slave not dead, non mortum, but alive, vivum, and in good health, bene valentem. All right, and then he asked Rogowit, cur non mortuus est, why aren't you dead? Musai responded comatas, apes quotidie mitebant, the muses responded, Camaras, daily sent me bees. Quae mihi meu suum ferebant, who brought me their honey, quo corpus meum alebam, with which I nourished my body. Exi ex arca inquit dominus. Um, go out, oops, go out of the box. Get out of the box, says the master. Siene musai te amant. For if the muses love you, te interficere nolo, I don't want to kill you. So he recognizes he doesn't need to upset the, the gods. He was wrong about this. He didn't believe the thing about the muses dancing in the field, but now he does, since he's seen this miracle. Comatas laetus, comatas happy, ex arca exit, got out of the box, tibernam igitur petiwit, therefore he sought out um, a shop, in qua haidum emit, in which he bought a kid, quim musi sacrificavit, whom he sacrificed to the muses, quia eum, a certa morte servavirant, 
um, because they had saved him from certain death. All right. Well, that is the end of the story of Komatas. I hope um, you learned a few things about maybe about a new myth, maybe about some Latin vocab or grammar or whatever it might be.